Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Ron's Random Reviews. Uh, today, I'm going to do the first of uh, several Greenworks product reviews. Uh, recently, I decided to go ahead and go with the battery operated uh, machinery to do my lawn. Uh, you can see I got a fairly large lawn. This is a quarter acre parcel, but I've got a lot of concrete and everything back here, so I'm not sure how much the grass area is, but it's fairly large. So uh, I had a gardener, he really wasn't performing well, uh, so I went ahead and let him go and start doing my own work again. So I looked around and looked at all the multiple options and uh, I knew I wanted to go battery operated because they're so much better than they used to be. Uh, I have some old uh, wired, you know, plug-in electric uh, equipment that's no good. I've got the old gas version. I have a, a Honda motor on a Troy-built chassis uh, self-propelled gas mower. And I like it. It's a really good mower. But everything's switching, going green, getting rid of the, the uh, fossil fuels and all that type of stuff. Uh, that's a whole different story. Uh, but it is what it is. So... Uh, this, I went for more of the convenience aspect rather than, you know, going green type of thing. Uh, you know, less emissions is obviously a good thing. Don't pollute, especially here in California where I live. I mean, we have horrible air quality here. So we just got through with a one week of hell, uh, anywhere from 107 to 115 degrees. So my lawn, as you can see, is overgrown because uh, I wasn't going to go out here in that kind of heat and try to mow. And then I'm very limited too. I have two young little kids that I have to watch while the wife's at work. So uh, anyways, today it's about 91 degrees, still pretty hot with no breeze, but I'm going to get out here and try to use uh, my equipment again. Uh, anyways, uh, this is an 80 volt. Uh, I bought all 80 volt series. Uh, they have multiple series, uh, like things that run off 24 volt, uh, mowers and everything running off 40 volt. Um, I saw older versions, it used to be 48, I guess, but I haven't really seen new versions of that. Uh, they have a 60 volt series and they have a 80 volt series. The 80 volt may be overkill for most people, uh, but I wanted to go, if I'm going to go battery operate, I'm going all the way. So. I went ahead and, and bought all 80 volt. So over in my little shed here, uh, I'll show you other uh, things, uh, do more videos later on, but I bought the, um, obviously the self-propelled 80 volt mower. Um, I believe it's 21 inch and uh, I used a bagger, but it can bag side discharge or mulch, uh, but I'm using the bag and the bag does work very well. It shoots it up in there real nicely and easy to take off empty and put back on. It's not hard at all. Um, so I've also got the uh, blower, which I'll do a video on, which is X. All this equipment is excellent. The green work, I love it. So uh, this mower very easy to use. The blower is very powerful. I've got the uh, hedge trimmer uh, and uh, I've got a uh, pole saw, 10 inch pole saw, I believe it's 10 feet long, eight or 10 feet long, but 10 inch pole saw has like the little chainsaw end on it. And I, I've got um, queen palms in the back here and queen palms in the front. And I've used it, uh, it cuts like butter, just chops them immediately and done. So I don't have to get a ladder and struggle. It, it's really good. Uh, I also bought the, um, let's see, mower, hedge trimmer, blower, pole saw, uh, weed eater, I mean not weed eater, edger, so the edger, uh, my previous uh, gardener, he was doing it with a, like a weed eater, and it just, I don't like it, I like a, a wider edge cut around the edge here, so uh, I got the edger, and not the weed eater style, but the actual metal uh, cutting blade, and uh, that works really good, and then the sixth thing I bought was a 300 watt inverter. So you can take the batteries out of these and they switch into everything as long as you get the same. If you get all 80 or all 60 or all 40, they'll interchange in any of the equipment. But you can't take a 40 volt and put it in this 80 volt 
mower. It doesn't work. So I bought everything 80 volt. Now 80 volt, bigger battery, it's heavier. So if you got like very minor stuff to do, then maybe you want a 40 or maybe a 60 at the most. But I wanted 80 to get the most power. Uh, and this mower has plenty of power to do what I need here. Uh, I mean, it's, I don't even know, maybe a 40 volt could have done it. Uh, but uh, I'm sure the 60 volt could do it, but I wanted the 80. So it, it just whizzes through like nothing. And this is self-propelled. They have a version that's non, uh, you know, push mower, not self-propelled. Uh, I want self-propelled. So this is very easy to use. So anyways, there'll be more videos coming up on that other equipment. So I wanted to show you this mower here. Uh, obviously here's the bag. I'll show you back here. Uh, I'll show you one thing on the handle here is, uh, you see this right here? These are like spring loaded. And uh, so when you pull that on both sides, you can raise or lower your uh, height adjustment for your um, handle. And I really like that because some of them are like too low, some of them too high, or you know, they don't adjust at all. This one has like three, I think, notches where you can go up or down. So whatever your height is, it's gonna fit you pretty well and be very comfortable and convenient. So uh, you come over here, I'm gonna have a shadow from me, but uh, you come over here and you'll see that you got like a little lid. You lift up the lid and look in there and this uh, takes two batteries. Uh, it doesn't have to, but it can take two batteries. So I just use one. Uh, I, it came with, the, uh, I would recommend when you buy these to get it the kit that has the battery because it's enormously cheaper to get them together instead of buying a separate battery later on. This is the uh, five amp hour, which is their largest capacity. And uh, so one battery, uh, it will charge, uh, it takes about an hour for the five amp. If you go down to like their small two amp battery, it only takes about a half hour because these come with a uh, quick charger and they're very nice quick charger. I'll show that in another video also. But uh, the battery, it's just got a little button here on the side that you push, okay, and the battery pops out. So there, you know, slide the battery out. And you, then you push it back in, it's spring loaded, so it locks in. Now, like I say, you can put another one on the side of it if you, I guess you got a huge area or acreage or something to mow. But this here, this five amp hour, will mow my whole area here. I already tested it to find out. It mows this whole area one and a half times. So I went back and forth this way one time, and then I said, okay, let me go the other direction. So I went the other direction and it got about halfway through. So one and a half times on a full charge. And uh, so that's, you know, more than enough. And um, so I bought extra batteries. Uh, and here's an, another trick I'll mention to you is I went on eBay. I go between Amazon, eBay and Google to buy all my stuff. But uh, eBay, you have sellers that maybe they bought some equipment and it comes, you know, each equipment came with a battery. And they're like, oh, I don't need three batteries or, you know, so they decide to sell one. Okay, this five amp hour battery is, is uh, $300 if you buy it separately. Okay, now this whole mower is supposed to be $600, but I caught it on a uh, Greenworks website where they uh, were selling uh, a discount at that time and it was 475 so that was with the battery. I was very happy with the battery and charger, you know, bag, everything ready to go. And uh, so I was very happy with that deal. But the trick is you go on eBay and people will be selling extra batteries, brand new. They're like, oh, I don't need this battery. So it's brand new at a big discount. So a uh, four amp hour battery, 80 volt, four amp hour, uh, sells at Greenworks for, I think it's 229 something like that you might catch it on sale for two hundred dollars well i bought two different uh batteries four amp hours from two different sellers hundred dollars each brand new so they're not used you know technically i guess they're pre-owned but they they weren't used at all so i was able to get 
two four amp hour batteries that should have been about $450 and I paid $200 for them. So that's the way to go. Uh, and, and you know, uh, you can kind of look at it before you buy a product, but normally it's going to be similar price if you buy the product with the battery from Greenworks or Amazon or wherever you buy it. It'll normally be similar to that price, but if you buy it separately, it's a fortune, okay? Unless you go on eBay and find somebody like I'm telling you to do. So either buy it in a kit together with the, the product and battery and charger together, or go on eBay and try to find somebody who's selling one separately. So that's the way to go. Uh, you don't buy the product and then buy the battery separately, say from Greensworks, you're gonna pay a whole lot more money. So that's one tip I would mention to you. But anyways, like I said, this is a five amp hour battery. I've got, I bought two extra four amp hour batteries. Then my other equipment came with a two and a half and a two. So I've got five batteries total and that's like more than enough. Uh, you know, that's just if I was trying to do everything all at one time, all you gotta do is pop out the battery from one, put it in the other and continue on. It takes you about 10 seconds to switch from one product to the other. So I don't need all those batteries. I just bought the two four amp hours because my other two batteries were a two amp hour and a two and a half. And those aren't gonna last real long in a large product. The two amp hour on my edger, yeah, it worked good. Yeah, I could do this whole edge. This is all I got to, to do is this circle. So I could do this no problem with a two amp hour. And then I pop it out, put it into my blower and I can blow the whole area like I say, my whole property is a quarter acre, so front and back, I can blow the whole area with all the concrete, all this, plus edging, and it's all on a two or a two and a half amp hour battery. It'll do it on one charge. And even if you only had that battery, it only takes a half hour to do the quick charge on it and you're back on it again. So, so you don't need some big 10 batteries or something. I don't even need the five that I got. I just, I saw good deals and I said, okay, I'll never need another battery. So anyways, I could add a second battery into this mower and mow and mow and mow. But, you know, like I, like I mentioned, I can mow this whole thing easily on one charge, not a problem. So, okay, uh, I know I'm going on and on, but uh, let me kind of move this in the light a little bit better. All right, you'll see uh, here you got like a little safety switch that you push in and you push that in before you pull this trigger and they've got triggers left and right. So it just... You know, it doesn't matter if you're left-handed or right-handed. It's got both sides, see? So this one here, you pull it in, and it's going to start the, the engine to start um, mowing. So the the blade itself will rotate. Uh, this right here, of course, is your self-propelled. All right, so all you got to do is press this safety switch in and pull it. And there it goes. You let it go and it's off okay you don't have any gas you don't have any oil you've got no maintenance just maybe underneath once in a while go ahead and you know clean it out maybe you got it all dirty you maybe went through some mud or something clean it out underneath where your blade is once in a while that's it i mean there's nothing else to do dust it off if you want blow it off with your blower but you don't have to change oil you don't have to put gas in it you don't have to worry oh do i have any gas in my gas can you just come out here press a button start mowing let go of the button you're done mowing put it in your shed and you're gone so i mean it's so quick and easy i love it and the control of this is very good the balance is good uh, the pull is really good and i'll show you here see this here this is like a little slide back and forth left and right that's your speed of the self propel and it can go from creeping where you're just barely walking along to a jackrabbit where you're going to have to get moving because you're walking at a very fast pace to even stay up behind it so i usually do it somewhere around like three quarter and it does pretty good when i first started using this i was way at the bottom and as i continued mowing i was doing a little bit faster a little bit faster you know once i got used to the mower and how it worked so um you have your uh lever adjustment here for the height let me see where where was it again is it over here oh yeah it's over here on this side okay so you've got a one lever height adjustment and there's multiple adjustments two three four five i think there's 
six or seven. Yeah, there's like seven different notches, uh, height adjustment that you can put this. And it's one lever. So you move the lever and it moves all, all four wheels. You know, the height uh, will adjust for the entire deck. So it's not, you know, like the old school where you had to do both sides and front and back and all that. It's just one lever up or down and it'll adjust the whole thing for you. So here's your side discharge, obviously, if you want to do that. And it comes with the attachment to shoot it out. Or there's a block for inside here. You can see this is spring loaded like any other one here. But uh, there's a block that goes in there to block it and take off the bag if you want to mulch. So, uh, all right, I'll show you real quick. Uh, I'll do like a one strip here. Uh, so you can see how it mows in this pretty tall grass. And uh, then I'll finish the... Uh, I'll finish off this video because I'm probably dragging on. You're getting bored. So, all right. Like I said, you press in the button. Uh, I'm not really going to talk because you're not going to be able to hear me with this blowing. So I'll just do a demonstration. Uh, press this button. Press this button. I mean, pull this lever and pull this lever. And we're off to the races. I have this at a pretty high height adjustment because that's where I want it to be because we got really hot weather. If you cut it too short, it's going to uh, dry out your roots. Okay, but uh, it'll look a whole lot better when I use the uh, edger. But you can kind of see here, I don't have a whole lot. And uh, I'll do one more pass down off of the concrete so you can see a better cut. So just one second, let me do that for you. All right, let's do a off concrete mow for you. Holy crap, that was funny. Well, I forgot to charge this battery since the last time I mowed it. So I gotta go get another battery. So anyways, uh, you can see how this uh, works. Uh, sorry about that. But uh, I'll do a uh, picture of you know the whole thing mowed when I do the next video. I'll do a video for the edger and then show you how much it mowed and all that. But it's, uh, I'll show you here real quick that see this little button here you press this little button and out comes the battery okay and this is your battery the five amp battery so all right um i'll do a few more videos of my other equipment and let you see some more information so uh thanks a lot for watching ron's random reviews uh please like and share subscribe i'd really appreciate if you'd share it so i get more subscribers uh, trying to build the channel and I'll be adding more videos as soon as I can. Thank you.